Sage Payroll now supports non-taxable benefits. The purpose of a non-taxable benefit is to show the employees what the employer is paying on their behalf, such as health and dental benefits, HSAs, parking passes, and more. Non-taxable benefits and reimbursements now appear in the Other Information section on the employee's pay statement. In this video, we will set up a non-taxable benefit for supplemental medical and add an amount for an expense reimbursement. We will then take a look at the other information on the employee's pay statement. Before we begin, here are some items to note. Any existing expense reimbursements will be moved to the other information section. While a non-taxable benefit does not affect the net pay, it will appear on the employee's pay statement. Pay components can be deleted if they have not been used. Now let's set up a pay component for a non-taxable benefit called Supplemental Medical that has an amount of $100. From the Payroll menu, select Maintenance, Pay Components. In the Component type, select Other Expenses. Click Add New Pay Component. In the Other Expenses, we'll select Non-Taxable Benefits. In the Pay Statement Description, we'll enter Supplemental Medical. The component name is normally one word, so we're going to enter Supplemental Medical with no space. Click Save. Click Back to Maintenance. If desired, we can also add Supplemental Medical to Pay Groups. Click Pay Groups. Select the Pay Group. Click Edit Pay Group. Scroll to the bottom. Click Add New Other Expenses, select Supplemental Medical, and click Add. But in our example, we're not going to add it to all the employees in the pay group. I want to individually add it at the employee level. I'm going to Cancel, Cancel. Let's navigate to Employee, select our employee Janet, select Payslip Values, scroll to the bottom, Click Add Other Expenses, select our Supplemental Medical, click Add, enter $100 for our Supplemental Medical. Janet is also getting a non-taxable moving expense reimbursement of $325 for the next four pay periods. Enter $325 for moving. Please note that if this had been a one-time payment, it would have been added during the pay run. Click Save and Close Employee. Let's go ahead and process a pay run. Click Pay Run. For your pay group, process pay run. Select my employee, Janet. Scroll down to the other expenses. And I can see the amount that we've added, the moving of $325 and the supplemental medical of $100. I've gone ahead and completed the pay run and printed checks. Here we are looking at the payment for Janet. In the Other Information section, we can see the moving expense, which is non-taxable, $325, and supplemental medical of $100. These are both located in the Other Information section of the employee's pay statement. Congratulations! You now know how to create a non-taxable benefit.